Okay, so that we will proceed with lesson 3, discrete probability distribution. This topic contains the discrete random variables, the probability distribution uh, for discrete random variables, the cumulative distribution function, the expected value of a random variables, which is discrete, the binomial distribution, and the Poisson distribution. Okay, let's... See, so this is chapter chapter 3 of uh, Applied Statistics and Probability for Engineering by Montgomery and uh, Ranger. Okay? <clears throat> now, when you say discrete random variables, uh, basically these are an outcome of any random experiment and we can determine the distribution for this random experiment. And take note, discrete variables are variables that are countable or finite in nature. Okay, let's have this example. A voice communication system for business contains 48 external lines at a particular time. The system is observed and some of the lines are being used. So at any given time, you, you check when or how many of the lines are being used. Uh, and some of the lines are being used. Okay, let the random variable x denote the number of lines. So for this one, our random variable is capital X, and this is signifying of the number of lines that being used at that given time of observation. So the value of x could be any integers or uh, from 0 to 48. So, let's have an observation and it says that at that observation, we observe 10, 10 lines are in use. So, we can denote it as x. So, we can say that the probability of x is equal to x is that the probability of your uh, lines use is equal to 10. So this is the notation of your uh, probability of outcome. So erase ko na yan. So yun lang yung sinasabi ko. Means that the probability that 10 lines are in use, this should be capital X. Okay, capital X level. Okay, let's have this example. Number 2. The time to recharge the flash is tested in 3 cell phone cameras. The probability that the camera passed the test, so meron na tayong value for probability, and that value is 0.8. Pag fail, 0.2. And the camera performs independently. So let's have this table. So three cameras yung, yung observe natin. So these are the eight possible outcomes. Tama? So this is more of a combination. So combination of three taken, uh, three. But... The probability of pass or fail will have this different outcome. Okay, see table 3-1 for the sample space to the experiment and associate probability. For example, because the camera are independent, the probability that the first and second camera pass the test and the third one fails denote pass or the example natin. So, asan siya? Pass, pass, fail. So, this one, itong notation na to. So, the probability value is point one two eight so paano yan na kuha so pag pass pass fail so the probability of a pass is point eight kaya point eight to pareho and the probability of a fail is point two if you multiply them so that's the total probability of that outcome it's zero point one two eight so we calculated all and the probability for a uh, pass is x so the random variable x denote the number of camera that pass the test. So ayan yung capital values of x. And the last column of the table shows the value of x assigned to each outcome. So for this case, tatlo. For this one, dalawa. Ito, dalawa din. Yung nagpass ha, dalawa yung nagpass. This one, isa lang yung nagpass. Ito, dalawa din. Ito, isa lang. Ito, isa lang. And this one, yung last row ay walang nag pass. And you check the total probability should be equal to 
1. So, ano lang ibig sabihin nito? That the probability of outcome for x, for any value of x, where values of x is only 0, 1, 2, 3 for this random experiment. Okay, naiintindihan. So, for the probability uh, distribution, so a random variable is a function that assign a real number, assign a real number to each outcome in the sample space of a random experiment. The probability distribution of a random variable x gives the probability of each value. So let's have this one. Anong ibig sabihin naman ito? For this one, there is a chance that a bit transmitted through a digital transmission channel is received in error. And x equals to the number of bits received in error in the next four bits transmitted. So the associate probability distribution of x is shown in the table. So ito, yung kaninang ginawa natin, kinumbine na lahat. So for the failure, I think yung value ng failure or probability of failure is 0.1. Okay, ito ay 0 0.0001. And yung probability naman na hindi siya failed, which is yung assign natin 1 minus p usually is equal to 0 0.9. Okay, alisin ko na yung mga ink. Hindi tayo. Hindi ako sa laser pointer. So, the associate probability distribution of x is shown in this table and we can graph it this one. So, makikita nyo, mas mataas yung probability na 0. Okay? Kasi 0 0.9 yung isa times 4. Ano? 0 0.9 raised to the 4th. This is raised to the 4th. This is raised to the 4th. Kaya, 0.6561 yung value. Okay. Now, so ano yung probability mass function? So, for a discrete random variable x with possible value x1, x2, xn, a probability mass function is a function that State that the probability or the function of x sub i should be equal or greater than 0. Okay? Equal or greater than 0. And the summation of all the probability outcome should be equal to 1. And the probability outcome is equal to the probability of x equals x sub i. Okay, now. Let's have this example for the water, uh, wafer cup contamination. Let the random variable x denote the number of wafers that need to be analyzed to detect a large particle to contamination. So, it will be assigned as P for the large particle. Assume that the probability that a wafer contains a large particle is 0 0.01. So, that's the probability of a large particle is being observed in the wafer. And that the wafer are independent from each other. Determine the probability distribution of x and let denote, I think sinabi ko kanina, P is denoted as a uh, large particle is present and A is absent. So, ang sampling space nyo is when you get a sample that contains P. So, ano yung range of value niya? So, ito yung sample space. So, yung una, isa lang, nakakuha ka na agad. Yung pangalawa, you get the first one, wala, absent. So, then you get the second one, meron na. So, this is the sa second sample space. And so on and so forth. So, you start, stop the sampling when you get the P value. So, the range of value for X is a value of X equals 1 to infinity. So, pwede yung to infinity. So, for this uh, random variable, we can uh, have the probability distribution 1 to 4 lang po. So, 0 0.1, 0 0.999, 0 0.99 times 0 0.001 and so on and so forth. So, multiply nyo lang yung mga uh, probability value. Okay, now, pag ininote natin siya in terms of a function. So, this is your function of x. So, this one should be follow that a variable x is noted for a value of point of 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. So, nakita nyo dito kanina na 0.99 plus 0.99 squared, 0.993. So, meaning this value, ito lang yung nagbabago. Diba? And x dito, so ito may 0.99 din to, 0.99. But, 
raised to 0. So, pag ninote nyo siya, this should be equal to x minus 1, 0.99, naka-raise siya dun sa ganung power, and multiply it with 0 0.01. Naintindihan? Naintindihan yung probability distribution. Okay? So, we'll have a seat to work. So, you have three numbers here. So, this is the first one, and this is the second one. So, we'll end our discussion for this one here and answer this probability. Bigyan ko kayo ng example, yung letter A, para naintindihan nyo. So, yung sa letter A, sabi niya, the probability of x will be, this is small x, diba? So, ito siya. At yung outcome, so this is your f of x. So, meaning, kung may lumabas na 1.5, so, kasama siya. So, ilan yung 1.5? Dalawa. So, the probability is the c plus b. Yan lang yung sagot. Okay, okay, pakisagutan lahat ito and uh, we'll see your answer later sa seat work. Pakisubmit sa seat work number 4. This is our fourth seat work. Sagutan and submit online. So, I announce ko kung kailan ko i-close yung submission. Malinaw, thank you. And